Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Acer H7 series 25 inch IPS monitors. Now, to be specific, this is the H257HUSMI DPX. So, here we see some of the features we have. HDMI 2.0, which is great because we can use the full 25 60 times 1440 resolution with HDMI, of course, zero frame and the WQHD resolution. And this is a high quality IPS panel. And we also have built in speakers. Here we're cutting the tape and then we're just opening the box. And there we see all the accessories. And taking a closer look at what we get in the box in terms of accessories, of course, we have our usual uh, instruction manual. Then we have an external power brick, so it's not inside of the monitor. Then we have a power cable for the UK, a power cable for Germany, which is where I'm based. Uh, then we also have a display port cable, then another DVI cable. Unfortunately, there's no HDMI cable included, but I guess that's okay because you don't need specific cables. Just a regular HDMI cable will be good enough for HDMI 2.0. And then we also have a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Next up, we here have uh, the part of the monitor that connects the stand to the monitor itself. So if we just crack this open, then we will see that this is one piece of aluminum. So it's very solidly made. And this is something that's just with the entire monitor or the story of the entire monitor. It's very solidly made. And most of it, it's really out of metal and not just plastic that looks like metal. So here we see that. And again, this is solid metal, no plastic. And then we get to the rest, which is then the stand itself. Now there is no height adjustment. So you can basically just tilt the monitor a little bit. And we also see that there's like this rubber material on the bottom of the stand so that the monitor doesn't slide around your desk, which is very nice. And that it also just doesn't scratch it. And then we have this polished edges here on this monitor stand, which we already know from a couple of iPhones and the HTC One, of course. Here we then see the panel of the monitor itself, uh, the back to be specific. And there's basically the connector that connects to this portion of the stand. So you basically just click it in and then you're ready to go. Not much more that you have to do. And next, then attaching the stand to this connection piece, it just basically has to slide in and then you can just um, screw in the thumb screws so you don't even need any screwdriver or tools or anything to attach uh, the stand and to just set it up. So that's also great to see as well. Now then we are continue to actually lifting the plastic and we see that we have a very glossy bag here where you can see my reflection. There's still plastic to cover it. Now we've removed it and here we see the ports. So on the left, uh, behind this grill, there's actually one speaker. Then we have DVI D in HDMI 2.0. So again, you can use just a regular HDMI cable for 2560 times 1440 with 60 hertz, a display port in, audio in, a headphone jack, and then of course DC in, and the second speaker as well for the Sonic Audio. And we have also this Acer logo here on the back of the monitor as well. And from the side, we see that this is a very just slim monitor overall. And we also have this metal frame around it. Here we see it from the front. Again, also even the panel on the front is metal, not plastic, which is great to see. And then a different angle right here. So overall, I'm very impressed with the design, especially that it's uh, again, metal, not plastic. And here we then see it on my Alienware gaming setup. Now, some of you might say, why did you pick up an IPS panel for a gaming monitor? Um, and that's just because I really prefer the color accuracy as well as also the color reproduction and also just the viewing angles. And it only has a four millisecond response time, so that shouldn't be too bad. And I'm gladly sacrificing a few milliseconds of response time to just get a better overall picture quality. And so far, I'm very impressed with this Acer monitor. It retails here in Germany between 350 to 400 euros and should be the same in the US in terms of US dollars. And I think so far, this seems to be a very good alternative, for example, to the U2515 by Dell, which I already reviewed. So you can check out that channel in the description below. And I'll also make sure to share my full review with you guys in a few days or weeks. 
when I used it a bit. But so far, again, I'm very impressed. Let me know what you think of this Acer H7 monitor. I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this and like the video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.